Ve para acá. Voy, voy, voy. Voy. Chichón. Pechín. Pechín. Afari. Bien ya. Bien ya. Afari. Voy, 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 voy. Wow, you made brunch. Yum. Yummy. Short Amanandas. Short Amanandas in the fan. Guys, my dad watched my last vlog um, from when was it? A week? No, a week mm -hmm. ago or something. I just put on the TV so he can see that he was in it because obviously he was so sleepy at the start. So I didn't know if you remembered. And he goes, "What were your exact words?" <laughs> His exact words. He's giving me the eye now. Were pedas suchde? Oh, but that's like my favorite kind of vlogs. It's like very organic, organic, natural. This is us, you know. Um, which is funny because. I would say we spend most like the week put together because we have to go to work, we have to do everything. So when we're just doing our own thing, I prefer that kind of love. Bah bah dada. Not getting ke khoda tun hey bah bah. No, honestly, my dad's omelet so good. He like makes it a bit spicy as well. Mm -hmm. So bien. La la la. Do do do. This is so good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh. My, my diamond is yesterday for me as well, and I've been dreaming about having it again today from yesterday. It's so good. Man, I'm in Hitchfach and Rasaket, but you except when he wants food, <laughs> he's licking his lips. You have your own food. So sit. That's all right. Sit and lean back. That's it. There, look, you've got it now. Glue your bum a little bit more. Hold your tummy together. That's it. Tummy together. Don't worry. So just keep rising. Go up, down, and then go again. So my dad is just gonna oh, get in the car. Hold on. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to start this vlog properly. So, say good morning to everyone or good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Take yeah. your take your glasses off. Ain't I get to any? You look beautiful now. Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. We are going for shopping. Yes, we're going shopping today. It is Saturday. Um, I actually love going shopping with my dad because my dad has excellent fashion taste. Um, he's really good in like telling me what looks good on me, <laughs> picking out things that are like nice or flattering, and he's really like honest. You know, like so I remember one time I picked up a long skirt and he was like. That makes you look short, put that back down. So, um, so yeah, we're going to do that. Before we get started with this vlog, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can join in in more vlog fun with me and whoever is around from the family to be joining me. Today is my beautiful dad. So yeah, let's get started. What are you gonna choose for me? I don't know, we have to go and see. I need, basically I need clothes for clinic. You know, like when I'm in clinic, seeing my patients. Classic. Classy, yeah. And then if we see one or two night out outfits that we like, then we can go for it. But essentially I need wintry, classy, but nice, but okay. fun. How did you get what you know? Okay. Sure, I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a little bit of
song I'm gonna play I don't know why it really reminds me of my dad even though it's like a love song my dad loves like the songs where they're singing like ballads where like they're like oh. but, <laughs> but um, this song is so beautiful it's called As Ashq Begu by Reza Bahram our local shopping center which is Brent Cross and I think our first stop is gonna be Zara Zara yeah. okay. Phoenix Zara or mango mango yeah these are all mango good options all the shops are getting ready for Christmas we need to get ready for Christmas. It is very busy, but it's Saturday. I swear shops are always busy on a Saturday. But it needs to Christmas to get busy. Yeah, I mean, it's still the end of October. We still have two months. Mm -hmm. I love Christmas. Me. <laughs> you just like the food and the mulled wine. <laughs> But it's too short for Sada Khan, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you look nice. <laughs> what do you think? I have something similar. Yes, I do. I think it's literally this. It looks the same. Is this nice for work? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. 50 pounds, not bad. It feels a bit. I don't like the material, it feels rough. Yeah? No. Yeah. Nice? I think. For work. Oh, yeah. The other one we said the waist was too big because they didn't have an extra small. This one is the same price. Comes with a belt. Yeah, it's nice. For work, I think, with tights. Yeah? That's <laughs> Oh, you're right. That's very nice. Yeah. Even just the the diamond, but a quartish. Chun quartish should come category size Shall I try it? Mm. Guys, has me try this one. Oh, so nice. This is my favorite. I'm not sure. I'm not Oh. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not 
به لحاظ اینکه تازه هنوز قشنگ رو بدن هم نشسته رفته یه تفاندیه نمیم چی رفته اون زیره So, I think that we chose some good things. My dad says that the skirt and jacket would be good for the conference that I'm going to next week because I'm going to a conference to present uh, some of my research in Marseille in France. Um, so my dad says that I could probably wear that top and skirt, well, the blazer and skirt there, the long one. So I'll try everything on when we're home and I'll let you know. show you guys all the things that I got from Zara so first up was this jumper I just thought this would be so cute for work and it was $25.99 in a size small just I could even wear it like out with jeans or to work with trousers and I think it would look really just wintry vibes you know could even snazz it up with this necklace then I got that suit set that my dad was very keen on me getting. The jacket was a $79.99. I got it in an extra small. Quite expensive. And the skirt was $59.99. Again, I got that in an extra small because I like it to sit on my waist. So, yeah. I like that it had pockets too. And my dad thinks I should wear this to the conference I'm going to. So, I'll see if I go for that look. And then I also got this dress, which my dad chose. This is in a size small, and it's $49.99. I thought this was quite expensive for what it is, just like a plain grey dress. But it's got this belt that you can wear around it. So, again, uh, I'll just try it on. And if I think it's worth it, then I will keep it. And the next bag I have this cardigan which I have like a shorter sleeve version of this if only I could explain to you how soft this material is like you can just tell from how stretchy it is that it's just so soft and it's one of those things that you live in in winter I got it in a medium 32 pounds 99 and I just feel like you throw it on anything and it's just so warm and cozy and I'm always cold like always my house right now I think the heating is on 26 degrees and outside temperature is 14 degrees it's not even that bad so yeah we're always cold I think as a family um I got this top for horse riding I really need to invest in some base layers one of my friends told me that Aztec diamonds are a really good brand so I'm gonna check them out I was speaking about it with my instructor Laura as well and she was telling me to check out some of the brands on Lemur um which is is it Lemur I can't remember. Basically, she gave me a few websites and I will share them down below of where she said it's good at question wear, but essentially with a question wear, she said that like if you buy things that are cheap, they won't last you. I've been horse riding now for six months. So I, I, cause it's quite like an expensive hobby and I get that. And I don't want to like be one of those people with, like all the gear and no idea or buys all the things and like actually finds out they're not that into it. So I definitely eased myself into like the, buying equipment and gear for horse riding so I started with my boots then my helmet then like my crop and I've had I just wear like my gym leggings and stuff but now that winter's coming and I'm very committed to horse riding I've been doing it like I said for six months I'm happy to like spend more money on it and like buy some clothes but um Laura was saying that at the London horse show um, which I want to go to, there'll be loads of like places where I can try on the clothes and stuff as well. So if I wait until like another month and a half, then I can try stuff on and maybe even get some stuff from the winter sale. So until then, I've just got this as kind of like a base layer. It's a size small, 12 99 like a long sleeve t-shirt. And to be fair, I even wear them out. I just feel like they're so comfortable and soft. And I've done a wash test because I have this in white and it stays like the same soft material. Next up was this top. It's like a gray cardigan with button details. This is giving me very cute, elegant vibes. I feel like I could 
again wear this to work or wear this out if I wore it to work I'd probably wear it with like plain black kind of formal trousers versus like if I was at like going out with my friends or something I could probably pair it with like a black mini skirt and boots or I could even wear it with jeans and it would look good it looks a lot like the stuff that Molly May is selling on her website maybe and I've been hearing mixed reviews about it if anyone's tried her clothing brand let me know this is only 22 99 I feel like the price tag on hers is a bit more like mid-range which is fine to pay if the fabric and stuff will last you longer because I feel like pieces like that are quite classic like they go with anything it's prints that you're more likely to get bored of in certain colors speaking of colors I feel like when chocolatey colours came in to fashion in about 2020, I really thought they were going to go out of fashion. I was thinking like, okay, what's, like, how long is this going to last? But chocolate and definitely burgundy is the colour of this season. But I really liked this dress. My dad wasn't a fan of the neckline. He thought the neckline was just way too high. But I really like this. I feel like I might be able to get away with it for work because it is quite long on me. I can't really get it any higher to show you but I feel like if I wore thick tights underneath and some boots to clinic it would be nice but it's got this new style that's quite in right now which is the whole puffer skirt at the bottom so I thought that's quite pretty and then the last piece that I grabbed was definitely more of a going out piece it's $35.99 in an extra small and it is this dress this is like kind of the neckline of it um I don't know what this neckline is called I it's it's Annoy it's an annoying one because you can't wear like a strapped bra. bra, you have to wear a strapless bra with it, but it just looks so beautiful, your decolletage just looks, in my opinion it's its own like, I wouldn't say modest way because obviously you still have your chest bare, but it's a more like unobvious way of being sexy because you've got quite like a high cut on the kind of breast area and it's kind of straight at, across and the bottom is quite cute and bouncy like outwards so i'm excited to wear these for those of you who don't follow me on instagram it's persian bunny and i've been posting like what i've been wearing every day so i'll definitely be styling these pieces and showing you how i wear them so please make sure you follow me i literally do a reels every day or every other day just to show you guys kind of like what i wear to work or even like running errands or for a night out or something so if you enjoy them as well, leave a comment or if you go over from there, if you go over from here to my Instagram, drop a comment and I will reply to you there for sure. Now it's currently Saturday night and and I was going to go out, well Saturday early evening, I was going to go out with my friends but to be honest, like we're all feeling a bit lazy. Um, they went out last night and I wasn't free to go out last night. I was going out with my sister and some other friends, so I couldn't join them. And we were going to do something tonight, but obviously now we're all feeling a little bit lazy. So I think I'm either going to stay in and have dinner with my family and do nothing, or I'll like go to the gym and to the spa. But where I went horse riding this morning, like, I feel like I've kind of done my workout. I don't need a workout. It'll mainly be to like stress relief and, you know, just taking care of myself. I've really been enjoying, as part of my new job, which is so far away from my house, I have to get up very, very early. I'm up at like, let's say 5.30 in the morning, which for me is very early. That might be normal time for some of you guys. But given that when I'm on call, I finish work at 9 p.m., and 9pm is kind of a gentle way of putting it. The other day we finished a section at 9.45pm. So by the time I got home, because it's a long commute, it was almost 11 o'clock at night and I hadn't had dinner and stuff. So sometimes it can be quite a lot. But for the most part, I'm actually really enjoying getting up very early. And as part of my wake up process, I try and do five minutes of mindfulness. I literally just type in five minute morning mindfulness meditation on YouTube. And it's like a guided meditation. And mindfulness differs from other types of meditation because it essentially tries to teach you to be like happy and present in the now and like just accept as you are right now rather than trying to enter a point of pure silence, which I think um, kind of conventional meditation is all about. I've just been enjoying doing that and making it like kind of something that I do regularly. And last night I went to a sound bath in my gym before I went out with my sister. That was 45 minutes long and I really, really 
felt like I needed that and I enjoyed that. And sometimes I think that I've fallen asleep, but really I don't even think it's asleep. It's a state of, I think it's called the, the, the theta waves. It's basically a different type of wavelength that you enter, but it's really good for manifestation. So yeah, I've been really happy and settling in well into my new job and enjoying it all. Um, so yeah, the only thing I'm waiting for for my new job is a new car parking permit, guys. I'm literally paying almost £20 a day to park at my place of work, which, you know, is quite a lot of money when you think about it, like £400 a month before you've even paid for fuel or anything. So I really hope that my parking permit kind of comes through soon. So fingers crossed for me. But other than that, I really, really love my job and my new hospital and everyone just seems so nice and so warm and so friendly. Um, and I've already made like new friends and I've like got a few like midwife buddies who I love who are just like taking extra care of me. If you senior registrars, consultants, like honestly anyone who I've interacted with has been so pleasant and I'm so blessed to be in another wonderful hospital. So everything is going good, touch wood. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to me down below. I will be picking up the vlog camera again next early next week to film my trip to Marseille for my conference. And you guys will see what I decide to take in terms of an outfit for the conference. Um, I'm trying not to overthink it, but because I'm doing two presentations, obviously I'm going to be in front of people. So I am overthinking it rather than just someone in the crowd and in the audience. So yeah, let me know what you think I should wear out of all the things that I showed you or things that you've seen me wear before. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.